giving all honor and glory unto our Creator, our Most High, our Redeemer, our Father, which I call Tata. Family wanted to come on and share this. As you see, uh, this transcript of this uh, what they would call a seer or a medium or someone actually um, receive information, insights of what's to come. And I'm going to share the link to it, but around the, what you see, eight minutes and 53 seconds, he speaks of um, black people. It says, furthermore, he predicted the rise of black leaders with the phrase power will come to the blacks who have been in the dust for so long. So the person who is uh, commentating the video, he shared his insights of what that is. And it points to Barack Obama, that that was the era where black people came into power that is so far from the truth. There's not one thing um, that is concrete that the world know and see and has came out of the office of Obama concerning black people. In his timeline that he was there the whole entire eight years, someone spoke of something that he had signed for the uh, African Union that a uh, uh, that was a part of that lineup of a, some documents. But um, as of overall, what, you know, in America, what was not seen or heard of by Obama in his era doing anything particularly for the black people of America. So that wasn't it, what this, um, Actually, you know, one who have came forth and predicted. Um, he was born in the late 1800s. And, um, you know, he shared many. And in the link, as I will share the link, you can go through and see everything. But I thought it was very profound that um, he spoke on this and they shared it. But they gave their uh, opinion of what that is. But it's actually what I've been talking about and so many others of we as the black people throughout the earth, we will regain the power back. And this power will only be given by the might of our creator. There's so many of our people who speaking like all we have to do is, um, you know, unite, unite, unite. And then we will actually you know become this powerhouse but that's not all to it uniting in knowledge of thyself which is unto our creator is key but we must know the knowledge the knowledge will actually direct and guide us to know who our creator is or you can even flip it and say know thy creator then you will know thyself that's where the power is going to come as that far as what one called uniting. But far as the way how this system have been operated, it has been operated mere on wars, militia and, and many things that to, um, you know, that's their way of seeing battle. That's how they overtook in many ways. That's how they uh, done so much in Europe by war and by, uh, you know, just genocide and so forth. So what they're looking is for that to happen by us as black people through the earth. And they're looking and going to bed uh, every night saying that can't be done. That will not be done. Who they have, what they have, they have nothing. Even the Merrick, I'm sorry, the African leaders or presidents over there. They are all aligned with the West and the European nations because they're being bullied heavily. And for our brothers and sisters in Africa who's thinking, or one in America and other places, 
that oh, it's all about us just uniting. No, it's much deeper than that because we would not have had the visitations to w awaken us, whether you went around your wheel and understanding that you are Israelite from a Christian, from, you know, from Christian to Israelite to Bantus, from that and so forth. Um, we wouldn't have went through all of this for no reason. It's a reason why. It's because what this person was given insight of supernatural speaking that the black leaders with the phrase power will come to the blacks who have been in the dust for so long. That wasn't during the Obama era. And I want to show um, this actually what they would call a, a diagram or a chart where you'll see that in America, the black people that are in Congress are in the Senate. They are so small in number, their votes will not even be held in any regards because they're so small in numbers. Let me get that for you all. So as you see here, it says, how diverse is Congress? And I'm just going to go down here to this chart. So as you see, the dark um, blue is African-Americans. And you see the purple is white. And then you see the other um, ethnic backgrounds and their color. So Republicans, you see out of 100, I'm sorry, 441 seats, how many are there that are black? In Democrats, you see in the seats, how many of them there are black versus white? So you may say, well, Democrats is for Democrats and Republicans are for Republicans. Well, we must understand when it comes to the uh, which was trying to be passed by Kamala and this other uh, senator, I want to say from New York, they were trying to pass the lynching laws, which to get it on record, that is a federal crime. That alone, it has been passed through this, I want to say the Senate I'm sorry, the House, but not passed through the Senate. It went from the House to the Senate. Um, and on both sides, Democrat and Republicans did not vote it in. And as you see, the majority is white people, right? If it was the Democrat thing to say, okay, we're going to vote it in. It's like they knowing that, you know, if, even if we pass it in the House, it's not going to go to the Senate. The Senate ain't going to pass it. You understand what I'm saying? Because they've been trying for over, I want to say, has been 200 entries for the passing of this um, and other things. They call it, I want to say, lined it up with George Floyd, anti-blackness uh, or something, or lynching law, but it, it wasn't passed, fam. But just to give you the idea of our black people, if we were so powerful, we would be the purple. If, if the prediction that um, this one that had predict, if the timeline was of that, then we would be more of the color, you will see more blue if that was the case. Even when Obama was in the seat, it was not passed. You understand? Did, did you ever see him pushing anything about any lynching laws, any anti-black laws? No. No. I just wanted to give you an eye view of this and I just want to direct you back to
this actually is of 2023 and then much has changed family <clears throat> so that's not what that is accordingly to what that was predicted but i'm going to share the link and you could actually check out the whole entire video um but i wanted to direct your attention to around the mark of marker of eight minutes and 53 seconds to see exactly that this is the first time I really have seen um, ones let this come through. But when they even let it come through, they try to give their twist to it. And when you see below here, it says this actually came about, you know, during the election of Barack Obama by letting a black person in. That was, oh, we now, that power, that was predicted. No, it was not. And this um, man by the name of, let me get his name. This is actually what you will see when you click on it. You're going to see um, the prediction. And his name is Alois uh, Ur Lamier. Uh, Lamier um, says, shocking America prediction has already begun. And this came out two weeks ago um, in reference to sharing. But this man i want to say he is uh let me get so this man was born june 8th 1894 he died in july the 26 1959 and for them to share a picture that make him look more so like a cartoon character i even went back to see if this person actually was a black person and i haven't found anything because in the era of this timeline remember they whitewashed so much and so, um, I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, father can use whoever father want to use, but I just, you know, since that is a chance by the picture that they share, he has other pictures. They have other pictures of him, um, online, but this particular one, why they wanted to share this, like he was some type of cartoon character, like not to take him serious. So fam, I just wanted to share again, um, blessings to you all. I pray that you all have a great rest of your day and Matondo and get to, and get to, I will share the link in this post.